Hello everyone, my name is Joey here for DFB, and today we're going to be taking a look at Dawa Bar. This one is located in the Africa Pavilion of Animal Kingdom and is underneath the same large covered area as the check-in spot for Tusker House. The energy here is very relaxed but fun. Lots of African decor with a red and brown color scheme. The bartenders here are consistently friendly and that's a big part of why this is one of our favorite Disney bars. There are mismatched bar seats on both sides of the bar, while the front of the bar is kept chair free to make room for the grab and go line. But even though they make it easy to take your drink with you, we recommend having a seat for a little while to enjoy the atmosphere if you have time. This bar tends to be pretty popular, so if you can't find a seat at the bar, there's additional table and chair seating underneath the pavilion as well. Another great aspect of the atmosphere here is the music. Dawa Bar is right next to the stage where various musical acts play throughout the day, including the Tam Tam drummers, who play energetic and upbeat music inspired by the Congo. Alright, so on to the food. At Dawa Bar, they offer some specialty cocktails that switch in and out from time to time, along with classic cocktails that can be tailored to you since they are a full bar. They also have wine and beer selections, including a couple of draft, domestic, and African beers. First up, we took a look at the Bloody Mary. This one is $10 and is one of the most popular drinks at Dawa Bar. They no longer have an entire menu dedicated to specialty Bloody Marys or a specific morning menu like they have in the past, but they still make a classic version. It comes with vodka and Bloody Mary mix and is garnished with a carrot, a celery stalk, bruschetta, and a truffle blue cheese stuffed olive. And like any other drink at Animal Kingdom, all cocktails here will be served with a paper straw, which acts as a safety precaution for the animals. Like the other cocktails here, the drinks tend to be on the heavily poured side. So the Bloody Marys are strong, slightly spicy, and the garnishes are delicious. You can request to have your Bloody Mary on the spicier side if you prefer, and they'll add some Worcestershire sauce for you. Next up, we took a look at the Lost on Safari. This one is $10.75 and is one of the pre-mixed cocktails served here. This one comes with Captain Morgan Spiced Rum, Pink Pigeon Mauritian Rum, and Housemade Pangani Punch. The overall flavor of this one is sweet and fruity with a very slight hint of spice from the rums. The Pink Pigeon Mauritian Rum also adds some vanilla flavor, which tastes yummy with the fruitiness of the Pangani Punch, which is a blend of fruit juices including orange, pineapple, and cranberry. The alcohol to mixer ratio on this visit was perfect, but to forewarn you, on past visits, sometimes the pre-mixed cocktails can be either weak or will be a little strong depending on the batch of the day. But overall, the drinks on past visits have been on the stronger side. And finally, we wanted to show off the Tusker Lager. This one is $8 and is a bottled Kenyan beer. It has a medium body with fruity and floral notes that you might expect from an African beer. Any bitterness is mostly overpowered by the malty, fruity flavor, so this beer is easily on the drinkable side and isn't too heavy to enjoy the Florida weather. Overall, thanks to the friendly bartenders, strong drinks, and awesome atmosphere, Dawa Bar continues to be one of our favorite bars to visit while at Disney World. Whether you're ordering your drinks to go or taking a moment to enjoy the ambiance, we definitely recommend stopping by during your next visit to Animal Kingdom. But that's just about it for this one. Definitely let us know what some of your favorite bars around Disney are. Once again for DFB, my name's Joey, and we'll see you in the next video.